Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial for the Mirif Songbook program. In today's episode, we'll take a look at how to operate the program, work with MIDI instructions, use a MIDI controller, and even control the program remotely. Let's get started. Here, I have a selected song, and I'll open the song editing mode. I'll switch to the automatic tasks tab, where I can see several actions that I can set up. All these actions will be executed when I activate the song or, more precisely, when I switch to it in the database. The first section triggers some automated actions directly within the Mirif Songbook program, while the second section sends MIDI instructions to other devices. The first thing I need to do is go into the program settings, select the audio card and MIDI instruction settings, and choose my MIDI device connected to the computer. For instance, I have this one here, so I'll enable it, as well as configure the device that will receive the MIDI instructions. I'll turn on these switches to activate them, and then I'll select the communication channel I want to use, say, channel 7. There's also an option to set up the MIDI instructions to automatically start sending and receiving when the program launches, or it can be done manually during use. Now, I have set up one device to receive instructions and another to send them. I'll go back to the song settings. First, I'll demonstrate this basic function. I can specify that when the song starts, it should, for example, automatically play an audio file. I'll save this setting. After saving the database, I'll switch to another song. Now, I'll take this second song and set it up in the editor to also play an audio file, then save it. At this point, I have the batch playback ready, so I can switch back to the first song. Enable the floating panel, and there's a clock icon on it. When I activate this clock icon, the song will automatically start playing, and once it finishes, the program will automatically switch to the next song and execute the predefined action I set. Let's try this now. I've started the song, and the playback began automatically. Once this song reaches the end, it will automatically switch to the next song and begin playing again. Now it has switched to the next song. On this floating panel, I can see that if the icon is lit red, the automatic switching is active, meaning I can turn it off here to stop all actions. I could set up actions for each song this way, then activate them all at once using the icon, and the program will go through all the songs in sequence. There are, of course, more options available. I can do more than just play audio, for example, I can set a song to automatically switch actions after a certain number of seconds. I'll set it to 5 seconds for speed. I'll do the same for the first song. Do the same for the third song. Now I'll switch to the first song and activate automatic tasks. We can wait a moment to see that the program will automatically switch songs after some time. You saw that the automatic switching worked, and I'll disable it now. You can set predefined actions for each song, and when you start a song, these actions will be triggered automatically using the auto switch function. Now I will set up two actions, start automatic scroll and audio playback. You don't need to use two icons now, just one. When I use the green icon, it will automatically execute all these tasks for the specific song. By clicking it, you'll see that playback starts and the auto scroll activates immediately. I can also configure it to start karaoke automatically, load another MIDI file, or use a different type of automatic scrolling. These are the predefined actions that can be performed collectively for all songs or individually for one specific song using this button. Another option is to send MIDI instructions when a specific song is selected. For instance, to set up your pedal board or activate stage lights using MIDI instructions. I'll enable this instruction here. 
I want to perform a program change on channel 7, which I said earlier, and I'll configure my multi-effect processor to use effect number 10. Additionally, I can perform another program change on a different channel, such as the one for lights, and activate a light bank on data value 5. I'll save these settings, switch to another song, and when I return to this one, my multi-effect processor will automatically switch effects, and the lighting instruction will also be sent. For each song, you can set up to 10 MIDI instructions that will be sent immediately when switching songs. This allows for very extensive customization. You choose the instruction type, e.g., program change, the channel, and the data according to the instruction type. You can test the function beforehand using a button. A delay can also be configured here because some channels may not respond quickly enough or may need a delay between instructions. It's a good idea to fine-tune this value for reliable operation across all devices. You can reset everything using this button. You can also set up song switching to be controlled using a MIDI device. For example, I have this MIDI controller here, and I will set it up to switch songs. I will configure it to communicate on channel 7, and for this song, I will specify that it should use this combination. MIDI CC, data 1 set to 100, and data 2 set to 1. I switch between these banks and set the range from 1 to 127. This means that I can use 127 songs across 10 banks allowing me to configure over 1000 songs this way. So, I will specify that in bank 100, this song will be assigned number 1. I will turn off these instructions for now and save the song. I will set up another song in bank 100 as number 2. And a third song in bank 100 as number 3. I will now input this information into my MIDI controller, and we will see how the songs switch. You saw that the song switched beautifully. This means the communication is bidirectional. Not only can Miriv Songbook control a device, but it can also be controlled by an external device. Besides switching the songs you have configured here, you can completely control the program. In this tab, switch to MIDI control, where you can see all the instructions you can send. So, for instance, if I set up my MIDI controller to use program change and select program change 1, it will play an MP3 when I click on it. Let's try it. I set the required MIDI instruction on the MIDI controller and click. So, you have many options. Almost all functions can be controlled this way. Besides MIDI instructions, you can also use CC commands, which can be assigned to potentiometers to adjust the volume, set an equalizer, set a delayed start, or even zoom using a wheel. The possibilities here are enormous. Apart from MIDI instructions, you can also configure keyboard shortcuts, allowing you to control functions without using MIDI but rather through keyboard shortcuts. At the end of this course, we will also show how to control the program using another device. Let's switch back to song editing and go to the MIDI during playback tab. Here, you have an option that is useful if you're playing with a multi-effect unit, so you don't have to switch effects manually or with your foot. You can set up automatic switching directly here. I'll enable sending these instructions, choose to control my multi-effect unit, Set program change according to this legend to 4 on channel 7, and specify effect number 1. I will configure the same instruction for switching to effect 5 and another for switching to effect 2. Now, it's crucial to set the timing. I will set it to switch to effect 1 in the first 10 seconds, effect 5 at 15 seconds, and effect 2 at 20 seconds.
After saving, I will start the playback, and at exactly 5, 10, and 20 seconds, my multi-effect unit will switch accordingly. Let's try it. As you saw, my multi-effect switched as expected. This allows you to fine-tune exactly what you want to happen during playback, such as switching lights, mixing consoles, multi-effects, etc. Whatever you program will switch automatically. You can also use Mirif Songbook as a MIDI controller. In this tab, I will select MIDI controller, and this setup will appear. I will first switch to this tab. There are 10 large buttons and 10 small buttons, and you can assign instructions to these buttons to perform specific actions, using them as a MIDI controller directly from Mirif Songbook. Switching to the settings, I will configure the first button to switch program change on channel 7 and send effect 10, label it as effect 10, and assign a color. I will then configure the second button to the same channel for effect 5, choose a different color, and the last one on channel 7 for effect 1 with a blue color. You can also choose whether to display button numbers and whether the MIDI channel should be released immediately after the instruction. Now, switching back, you can see that the icons are colored, the labels are present, and when I click, you can see the effect on my multi-effect unit. It switches as expected. You can configure up to 20 such instructions and control everything using Mirif Songbook. Additionally, all these settings are saved for each specific song. So by saving the database, all MIDI instructions and MIDI configurations associated with a song are stored, while all MIDI controller settings are saved in the program configuration. Now, we'll show how to control Mirif Songbook with a device other than the keyboard. For this demonstration, we selected the Stream Deck device. This is not a paid advertisement, we do not sponsor this company. This is simply to illustrate the possibilities for controlling the program, and it is not a commercial endorsement. We will use this Stream Deck device to set it up for program control. In this tab, I will switch to Keyboard Shortcuts, where you can configure many shortcuts. We will set these up in the Stream Deck and see how to control the program. I will close the program and open the Stream Deck configuration. Some things are pre-configured here, but you would start from scratch. For example, I have set the first icon to launch the application, another icon for playback shortcuts, switching columns, or transposing via buttons. You can see that each button on the Stream Deck has an assigned operation, and we will test it with the program. I will open Mirif Songbook, Test playback. Pause. Stop. Switch columns. Go full screen. And exit full screen. You can easily configure Stream Deck for controlling Mirif Songbook. On our website, you can download icons for this setup to customize the Stream Deck interface with colors. You can also control the program using foot pedals and switches. Notably, the MIDI instructions include a useful, fast scroll function that works not only up and down but also left and right. This is helpful when navigating large songs with multiple pages or scores, allowing you to zoom and scroll using a foot pedal much like you would with a mouse, while keeping your hands free. These MIDI instructions for fast scrolling and other functions can be controlled using foot pedals and keyboard shortcuts. Thank you for watching and goodbye.